Hey there everybody, it's Missy again. Thanks for joining me today. I'm back with a new layout for the Coco Vanilla Studio design team and this is my first layout using the gorgeous Wild at Heart collection. I had to use this watercolor paper as my background right away and I've already done a little bit of work on my cameo. I've cut the word moments but it's still on my cutting mat here. These are the pictures I'm going to use. I've got some black and whites. These are just some cute selfies of me and my youngest daughter one day from a few years ago. I love trying to get them to smile and look cute for selfies and I just love those little everyday moments. And so those are my pictures. And my product focus for this layout is the chipboard frames that you see here. And then I'm also going to incorporate quite a bit of the chipboard, uh, chipboard stickers. So it's going to be a pretty dimensional layout and I'm just playing around. I'm not sure if I want to use the big frames, the small frames, if I want to frame the pictures, if I want to use them as layers. There's uh, small frames, medium ones, and the regular size ones. So I'm just kind of playing around. So I'm going to go ahead and peel this off the cutting mat here. And I use the impact font and I like that one when I do um, kind of a block word that's not script because it's, it's nice and thick and you can really read it pretty easily. So my next thought was I got to back this word. What am I going to use? Which pattern paper am I going to go with? So I tried a couple of them and I really like that one right there with the watercolors. But I wanted the word to kind of look the same and I wanted it to stand out a little more. And everything I put on it just made it kind of fade in to the background or made it look a little too busy. So in the end I just used a scrap piece of white cardstock. And then that's going to give me a nice white base to work with. And I'm going to glue down these little bits that uh, help make up the letters. Because once I start adding gesso, they'll get ripped right off when I rub over those with my hands. So I'm going to make sure those are glued down. I love the colors on this background paper. The gradient from that deep pink to the, the peachy, soft peach color. Gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to do something I do quite a bit, and that is add white gesso. And I'm not trying to fade out necessarily the color in the background paper because it's so pretty, but I am going to do some watercolor. And in, in order for me to do that, I feel like I need to add the gesso. It's going to prime the cardstock, or not cardstock, the pattern paper. And it is going to give me a little bit of a lighter white area. You can see there, it kind of whited it out a little bit. And um, it's going to make it easier to blend. It's going to make it easier for these watercolors to spread. And I like that because if I do this technique right on to paper without any gesso, it kind of just sinks in right then and I can't move it around. Like here, I can kind of go back over it and smush it around a little bit more. I can take my brush to it and add a little more water and it will continue to kind of spread around. And I'm just using some products here. These are my shimmers, and I use a lot of these colors a lot. And I've got some deep pinks, some yellowish gold color going on here. And I'm just doing the packaging technique. I know this is not anything new. A lot of people do this, and it's one of my favorite things to do. You just spray it onto some plastic packaging, flip it over, and smush it down. And you get this gorgeous, abstract-looking splotch of color. So my thought was since my the, the bulk of my title is going to be the word moments and I clearly cannot move it around. It is in a fixed location on this paper and so I have to work everything around that. And a lot of times I like doing that because it makes the layout come together a little bit easier because I have to work around this big thing in the middle. So um, I've only got certain spots where I can put things. So I'm going to put one picture to above the title to the left and then one picture below the title to the right. And I'm just taking all the time I want here using some of my shimmers and getting the colors down. I'm using a color called grapefruit here and it's kind of a a peachy coral color and I'm just trying to complement the picture the pictures the colors that are already in this background paper for now. Because if you've seen this collection, there's a lot of deep navy blue tones, and I'm going to add some of that here in just a few minutes. But I want to make sure that all of the pink and coral is pretty much dry. So now I'm going to come in with this soft blue color. 
because I want this to be kind of light and bright at the same time and I am going to add some of the navy blue elements in later and at first I was going to leave the word moments white but I just decided to kind of treat it as part of the background now and so I'm just going to go over it with the watercolor and just kind of blend it in so it's not so white and I like how this is looking this is an aqua color that I'm using going to do a little bit of dabbing here because I've got quite a bit of water going on I just keep working on it I'm gonna keep splattering and keep using the packaging technique so I've got most of it done like I think I like it and I'm gonna come in with some tissue paper now and add a little bit of that behind my pictures and I'm gonna use this beautiful it is beautiful scripty chipboard sticker above moments and so that's gonna be my title beautiful moments and I'm gonna use those two frames as layers behind my photos. I'm going to use that peach and white striped one and then I'm going to use this really pretty floral one over here. Sometimes I like to use the frames on top of the pictures but in this case I felt like it just kind of cut them off and I didn't want to cut off anything. I like the way they look layered on top of it. So I attempted to do some stitching here. I had a really bad experience with my gold thread. Someone was just asking me about my gold thread the other day and I really had the most problems in my sewing machine with my gold thread and it continued to pop and break and so I just gave up. Did a couple of lines through there and then said forget this and then I just did a little bit of blue stitching underneath moments. And the, my regular thread works great but that metallic gold is a pain in the butt. But anyway. So now what I'm going to do is add in a little bit of die cuts. I'm going to add those flowers to the right and left of the pictures. And then I'm going to add in a lot of chipboard hearts. Another little chipboard piece above beautiful that says wonderful. And then I'm going to come in with some tangled thread. And I'm going to use the darker blue to pull out the blue from the flower up top and the title. I'm going to use the thread up top and down below. And I love the ephemera. Look at those beautiful flowers. They're, they're watercolor. I love the shape of the leaves. Oh my gosh, I wish I had just an entire pack of just those flowers. I'm going to use this little chipboard piece that says, You Make My Heart Sing. And that little love die cut at the bottom. And I try to decide, I go back and forth with the small frames. I want to incorporate a couple of the small frames, but at this point I just wasn't sure where. To make the title stand out a little more, I'm going to take a metallic gold pen and just kind of trace the outline of each letter. And it's very subtle, but it's nice shiny gold. You can see it a little bit better there. I'm going to start to glue things down. I'm going to go ahead and glue down the photos, the flowers, and I like the way they kind of overlap the word moments. You can still clearly read what it says, but I like the way they're kind of crooked. I didn't want them to be super straight since the title was super straight. <clears throat> I didn't want the pictures to be super straight. That's part of my OCD. I like to have things, some things super straight and some things crooked intentionally. I have no idea why my brain works that way, but that's just the, the way I like it. Now I'm trying to glue down this chipboard piece, but it kept wanting to curl up on the left. So I need to put something heavy on it to keep it from coming up. So I'm just going to stick my water mug on there <clears throat> and continue to glue down the hearts. I love these hearts. They are so cute. And I thought they just looked cute up top. And then I'm going to have the couple down below here. And whenever I use gesso, I know I say this a lot, but I always like to, to glue it down even though they're sticky because sometimes the gesso is a little too gritty and they won't stick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my journaling. I printed this out on some vellum and I'm going to overlap it on top of these little frames. So I decided on the 
the light blue one and the pink one and I'm going to just overlap them just like that and then cut a couple of lines of journaling and just attach them just like that something different and I like the way that looks and I added that little happy piece at the bottom um, to bring in some of the blue down in that area and then I'm going to add some blue thread under there as well and this is just another way to use some of these frames you don't always have to use them as a frame you know you don't have to frame a picture um, you can just use them as is as an embellishment um, and they get great dimension especially when you overlap them like this I didn't want to you know stack them too high because when this does go in an album I don't want it to be too bulky but you can see there it does lift up off the page so I added a couple of flowers in there too by those little frames and then another little heart up top and then I'm gonna come in with some navy blue ink and just add some splatters to bring out some of that darker blue color I love the way the type journaling looks I usually do hand written journaling but um, every once in a while I like to change it up so I'm gonna add the date stamp and that is it that's the final layout I love how this turned out the colors are so stunning this whole collection is just gorgeous I don't know if you've seen it yet but check out the cocoa vanilla website I have it linked down below gorgeous and I know their um, paper issues also just got in this collection so check it out it's beautiful every little piece of it is just so so pretty but let me know if you have any questions about any of the products or any of the techniques anything that I did here um, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing it means so much and I will catch you in the next video so thanks for watching and I will see you next time have a great day